Hey everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I'm talking about smartwatches. Now, over the past year, we've seen an increasing number of smartwatches from companies like Samsung, Pebble, and others. However, while these smartwatches have been getting better and better at being more appealing and more useful, we have still yet to see the perfect smartwatch that absolutely nails the formula. With that in mind, I came up with a list of things that smartwatch makers could do to improve their devices. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing they can do is make it more comfortable and more watch-like. Now, one of the things that Pebble Watch does really well is that it's actually useful as a watch. It has a silent alarm, time can be adjusted even when it's in airplane mode, and it's waterproof. Also, its clever little shake to light backlight is incredibly fun to use and pretty useful. It also is pretty comfortable, which is something that something watches like the Galaxy Year could learn from. Now, another big thing that smartwatch makers need to get right is battery life. The Pebble needs recharging every four days or so, and that's kind of annoying. Other smartwatches, I really think they could get the battery life even better, and for a device that needs to be constantly on your wrist, you really don't want to have to take it off more than I would say at least once a week, because otherwise there's no real point in getting a watch in the first place, you might as well just get a smartphone. Now the third thing that smartwatches could do is have more of the awareness of Google Now. Now Google has actually gotten one thing right. Their, their ability to talk to the device, whether it be Google Glass or the Moto X for instance, and it basically starts up and it does whatever you want to. Essentially, it's like an even smarter version of Apple's Siri, and it's actually a really great way to interact with your devices. Now, I, admittedly, companies do need to get it so it actually really understands everything you say more accurately, because right now, all these voice recognition software technologies do have some error percentages, but if they can actually get the software recognition of voices, they, if they can get that a lot better, I think this, this would be a great way to interact with smartwatches in the future. The reality is people really don't want to have to look at like a small 1.5 inch screen or maybe a 2 inch screen and have to like use that as the main way they interact with their device. Again, this is one area where you might as well just get a smartphone as opposed to a smartwatch. It's actually more comfortable to interact with a 5 inch screen than it is to interact with a 1.5 inch screen. Now something else that smartwatches should do is have more fitness extras. Now a lot of fitness trackers are starting to get smartwatch style extras, but really it should be the other around. Smart little things should adopt the clever software services that some of the better fitness trackers are using. Now I really think that, that, that fitness is actually an area of great missed potential for smartwatches right now. Right now smartwatches are more focusing on delivering alerts from your phone, and while that's well and good and I think smartwatch makers should definitely keep that, I think they could do more with like sending fitness data to your phone, like tracking your number of steps, tracking how far you've run, how, how many calories you've burned, all that kind of stuff, and it could even just send it instantly to your smartphone. It would be very, very easy. Now, one of the last things that I think a smartwatch should really have is good design. The reason the Pebble, that Pebble just unveiled the new Steel smartwatch is because people want their smartwatch to look good. They don't want to just be seen as someone who just buys all the latest technology and is just really out of touch with reality. If smartwatch makers can actually nail the designs and actually get it so they actually look good, I think more people will definitely start to buy them. The last thing that smartwatch makers really need to do is bring down the price. I would say a smartwatch should not be priced above $200 max. I would actually personally prefer to see smartwatches priced more in the $100 range, because face it, if you're going to get a smartwatch, you don't want to spend as much as you would spend on like a small tablet on it. It just doesn't really make sense. But let me know what you want to see in smartwatches in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!